nyanya ya uizi hakuna mtu wako na haja na yeye akuende mpaka watu wa central hawataki rais Kenyatta mtachinjwa asubuhi yeah i hope you have heard from the video from pastor seki himself right uh, during this time when he was saying this in uh, his church you know he was telling the congregation that you know the people from the mountain mutachinjwa right what he meant is like you know what after elections you are going to face uh, a terrible situation as far as politics is concerned na sasa hii ukiangalia manze ile mambo inaendelea na mambo ya mlima nene nene you can realize that pastor sekel was right and he prophesied and they saw it like in your time utadiala sikuwa many people walikuwa wanasema like unajua this guy uh, is a rocky pastor but it is not a rocky pastor he knew what he was saying alikuwa ameona mbele kabla sisi tuone vile tunasikia mtu anasemanga mahali eh, mzee anaweza aona akiwa amekaa chini kichana hata akipanda chuo muti itakuwa ni ngumu sana kuona right and because pastor is also is a spiritual leader alikuwa ashaona hii mambo Asha, alikuwa ashaona like vile mnajaribu kusukuma na ku despise the current president na ile hadvasi alikuwa anapeana right alikuwa anaona like unajua msipofuata wewe kiongozi kenye anasema kita kitawalamba right na already kishaanza kuramba sawa wacha turudi nyuma kidogo when during the campaigns ukiangalia gashawa the speeches alikuwa anapeana right and the current head of state ile statements alikuwa anapeana you realize that gashawa alikuwa nga amechezwa kimpango because yeye yeah, alikuwa amesukumu huko mbele kuhakikisha like amechachisha eh amejangori akitokuwa kisimama hivi anakuwa anasema eh hey, huyo mzee nilimtoa kwa ba nikamleta nikamsafisha akapata uongozi mimi ndio nilimpea uongozi huyo sasa alikuwa anaongelelea former head of state ambaye ni uhuru kenyata atujui walipata na wapi tunaweza kubali alimtoa lakini is it necessary useme during that time una inasemekana tenda wema nenda sako na utulie number two, it is not good it is not good enough to despise the kinsman mtu inaweza kuwa mmekosana na yeye eh yeah. lakini so long as ni ndugu yako sasa so, singine unacheza chini you take it easy because umuta idachiana at some point in life right alafu number three. if i sasa tena unakuwa na kimbele mbele sana ku attack mtu wako mtu wenu ni wenu sawa ni wenu so yeye alikuwa akiamuka alikuwa anaongelelea unyevi baya anamwambia yeye wewe wewe ni mlevi malisa tamu yako uende we are to make the government serikali yenyewe amefika ndani lakini sasa ile na maiko pale actually is no is way out is on his way out ni kutoka anatoka there is an incident nakumbuka after election imeisha nini chuzi miti ilikatwa pale kwa shamba ya unya alafu kaluti pale makondo nini wakachukua unaona it's like alikuwa anafanya hivyo ku impress the boss kumuonesha kuwa tumekasirika lazima huu mse tumuonesha pia we are in power lakini uhuru because is a leader yeye yeah, alinyamaza kabisa in fact hata kuongelea juu hizo kondo akuongelea juu hiyo miti yake kukatwa ile kitu alifanya alinyamaza kama kiongozi akatulia Eh, na hiyo story akaichesea chini hadi saa hii. Sawa? So ukiangalia like eh uhuru mwenyewe during the campaigns ali take the initiative ya kuelezea watu wake wa mlima like you know what it is high time tungefanya 1 2 3. Alikuwa na advice anawaambia like my people from the mountain huyu mzee niko na yeye hapa. Huyu mzee atawapeleka vizuri. He can make a good leader na atawaprotect. 
because Kenya comes first in his heart so yeye atawapeleka vizu vizuri lakini during the time wanasemanga sikio la kufa alisiki dawa mwenye aliongea hadi matatang akiongelesha makinsman akawaambia jo ni kubaya tafadhali hmm? watu wakasema eh wewe malisa tamu yako uende pia wewe umeiba sawa wewe umeiba nini tabidi umesonga sawa but now ile kitu inaendelea hapa kwa mlima ni moja mlima already imepasuiwa na gashawa now the db is in the verge of being evacuated from office now what next wakati choto imezidi that's when gashawa may realize like no ninahitaji ninahitaji kuomba msafaa eh nahitaji niombe msamaa uhuru unye anisamee ameshaomba msamaa amesema sasa ile vitu alikuwa anasema hakuwa anajua oh. but now it is too late unye atafanya nini nothing hakuna kitu anaweza fanya sawa sasa ameanza kutia society ameanza kusema oh ile vitu uhuru alikuwa anasema silikuwa kumbe uongo at least tungefuatilia eh atungekuwa kwa situation kama hii lakini ukiangalia ukweli ni Kashawa alikuwa anatumika kuna clips hata kuna clip nyingine niliona former governor Mombasa akiongea akisema ile mpango iko vile watapelekwa unaona so hiyo time awange realize how serious itakuja kuwa afterwards after election na kila kitu uongozi imeshaingia nowadays ama current